One of the things that I really enjoyed is growing my own herbs, um, especially like rosemary and mint and oregano. Those are like the main things that I usually use. Parsley, um, cilantro. But in the beginning, I did struggle a little bit with growing them in ground because I would kill a lot of mint. Like I killed a lot of mint. And until I started buying the more established plants, and uh, I always bought them like in midsummer, which midsummer in Florida is brutal. So, <clears throat> and I did a couple of, of, of mistakes um, when I put them in the ground. So, the first mistake I did was putting them midday in ground. When you're doing transplants, always try to do at dusk when the sun is going away. So they have more time to adjust to its environment and it won't be so drastic on them. Also, try to amend the soil because we're all sand here and if it's in the middle of the summer, um, the sand is just going to uh, suck all the water out of your, your transplants. So wherever you put um, your plant uh, deep water, at least two or three times and then amend the with compost or whatever you want to put on there potting soil it doesn't have to be a big amount just a little couple of handfuls and then put your transplants in there uh, also another thing that has helped me is that i put my transplant on the north side and there is where my transplant started to flourish and be bountiful when I have put, um, previously when I killed all my other transplants, I put them mainly where there, was, where there was like almost a sun all day. And that was, I think, one of the main reasons where why my um, baby transplants didn't do very well. So I did buy transplants because herbs, some herbs take a pretty long time, especially perennials take a a little bit longer than um, I would want. I'm a very impatient gardener. Uh, so I did buy transplants <clears throat> and I didn't buy the little ones. I bought like the ones that are like seven, eight dollars already. I don't know the ridiculous price right now that they have. But that's because I had already bought many smaller transplants and I killed them all. So I'm like, if I would have just bought a more established uh, plant in the beginning, I would have uh, not saved money actually. So I know sometimes it's harder to buy the larger transplants, but in perennials, I really don't mind because this is an investment and it's gonna last you for a very long time. So try buying uh, more established transplants. And uh, the thing that I do not buy would be parsley, oregano, not, not oregano, parsley, cilantro, like any of those types of cut and come against my annual herbs, I start from seed. Uh, in order to get a bountiful, you need a lot of it. So I buy seeds and I put like almost all of the, the seed packet. And then you let it bolt, you get more seeds, and you don't have to buy any more seeds. So let me show you what herbs I am growing right now this is my oregano uh i almost killed this one i had to move it around if your plants are not doing well where you have them and you already did what you could to try to make them thrive move them around container gardening it's a uh, great for herbs because they are perennial and you see how it took over my pot there's supposed to be a mint here somewhere but it got smothered and the oregano took over but you can move your containers around if they don't like where they where they are just make sure it's um all of this has potting soil now with uh my basils isn't this gorgeous my basils love the heat they love anything that you could throw at them so i have this one in partial shade and i have other ones in full sun and they do great wherever I put them. Obviously, if you the better the soil, the better, the happier plant. Over here is my bolted cilantro. So also, when you plant your annual um, herbs, it depends on either they like it cold or they like it hot. Basil likes it hot. 
uh, cilantro, um, parsley, like it more on the cooler side. So keep that in mind. So you could plant um, parsley and cilantro in the late fall and you could have them all through fall, all through winter and all through spring not once but you gotta keep cutting it if you don't cut them back and you don't harvest they will bolt sooner so keep harvesting your your herbs and you'll keep more abundance and now once in springtime it starts um heating up then your herbs are gonna start bolting and you save the seeds for more fall harvest and i dehydrate a lot of my herbs so in this bed, I have um, curly parsley. I have this silver dollar weed, which is not supposed to be here, but Florida knows how much these come to annoy us. Um, and I have English thyme. Now this one I have bought last, last spring and it did not do well <laughs> it looked dead for like the longest i never pulled it out never so i basically gave up on it <clears throat> and this um when did i see it i started seeing it come back to life in the fall so obviously i said oh it's alive so i'm gonna start giving it more love and more water and now i have this beautiful time like i said this one was um a little i'm guessing like a four inch pot when I bought it and it was beautiful and then I transplanted it here and it did not like it but I left it alone I didn't pull it out uh, and now it's starting to become um, its own little thing so don't give up on it just water it take care of it and this one has um, partial sun I'm gonna try to put it in full sun I have some transplants. I'm going to try to put some in full sun, see how they do. But if you're going to put, if you want to really, really, really thrive, try to put partial sun, most of your herbs. This is my baby seedling marjoram. And if you have not smelled fresh marjoram, you are missing out. It smells so fragrant. Um, this is the first year trying to grow it. The first year that it actually um, sprouted, I tr I've been trying. Um, not consistently, but maybe once or twice to grow marjoram midsummer, and it didn't do well. So I tried this year in winter, um, early in early spring, and it finally came out so i just have this here it's not established it's not growing beautiful but it's going over here i have some rosemary and rosemary can take the cold so i put it on uh, my fence line so that it could block some of the cold towards my more tropical trees and this one was struggling until i put um the leaf mulch down so try to put a little bit of compost and a little bit of um, make sure it's well watered before you put any um, mulch down and um, and then you put the mulch leaf mulch whatever kind of mulch you want and water in and they will thrive after that now over here I have my um, my sage and my mint these two I bought established and I already harvest quite a, a bit of sage and quite a bit of mint. Uh, mint, I just hang it up. I don't put it in my dehydrator. It tends to burn it because my dehydrator doesn't have a temperature um, gauge. So mint and mint and sage. And this is on my north side. And until I put it on my north side is when I didn't kill my mint anymore. And everybody says that you can never kill mint. Well, I killed probably like four mints until I put more establishment in the ground and I put it on my north side. And this one, I am the last one I'm gonna show you guys. It's my dill, it's elephant dill. I only grow it for the butterflies. <laughs> But I grew it last year, late summer, going into fall, and it grew a little bit. It probably grew as big as this. And then this year, it just came into its glory.
but I transplanted them away from my beds because I don't want them to attack my tomatoes. So I put it in its own little um, food forest corner over here. And obviously, um, oh my gosh, look at that luber. You guys see it? Ew. Okay, we're going to have to handle you, sir. Anywho, uh, this is uh, my lemongrass. And lemongrass grows abundantly. And I love the way it smells for teas. So, yeah. So I do um, start them, a lot of my herbs from seed, but I will not put in the ground until they are bigger and able to um, withstand. Um, this is not, this is not oregano. <laughs> this is um, a sage. Um, until they are able to take the, the, the environment. So start from seed and just don't put them in the ground unless you're going to put them in your raised beds but don't put them in your ground in your food forest until they are bigger and more established and this is tulsi which is its um, um, basil and over here we have a pasote if you don't know what a pasote is uh, we use it a lot in our um, seafood dishes it smells i mean amazing and this is my stevia, which only two made it, but that was my fault. I believe um, I let them dry and some of them died. But this is stevia, and once it grows, I'm going to just um, propagate the cuttings. So find out what uh, works for you. Um, try to move stuff around your home. Uh, don't give up on herbs because it, it is um, the scent, the product that you get, or the harvest that you get out of it. It's nothing compared to the stores. They're pretty um, pest free and um, just move them around, try to figure it out and grow them according to your season so that you have a good harvest. So good luck with everything, your gardening, get your things settled in and don't stop gardening.